Hello everyone, and uh, this is Unit 4, so that means uh, it marks the halfway point of the semester, so you're halfway there, hang in there. Uh, tonight I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, assignment that's coming up. It is called the Film Analysis Assignment, and that one will be due uh, on Sunday, July 19th, at the end of Unit 5. Um, you can take a look at the instructions. You can find them under ND2L, under Course Information, uh, Assignment Instructions are all there. And this is a film analysis assignment, so you'll be analyzing a film of your choice. You can take a look at D2L Course Information. I have a list of the film uh, films available that you can analyze. Now, when you watch your film, um, I want you to watch it as if you're a psychologist and uh, observing someone's behavior and what kind of diagnosis you might give them. So uh, watch it with a psychologist eye. Um, and I think that when you do this, it will be uh, an enjoyable assignment and you'll be able to put together the things that you've been learning uh, this semester. So uh, let's take a look at the instructions and what we have here is um, you will make a PowerPoint slide. This is a PowerPoint slide uh, presentation so you don't have to write a regular paper and you will use the DSM-5. Remember you can find the DSM-5 criteria online or in unit, uh, I think it's unit 2, uh, is a supplement uh, that has the DSM-5 criteria in it. So either way, you can use that um, when you're diagnosing. Um, and I do have all of the uh, writing requirements on the instructions, what you need on each slide. And some questions that students usually have are about um, APA style. How do you use APA style on slides? Um, remember, the, the rule of thumb for APA is that you need to, whenever you use the words and ideas of another, that you need to uh, cite it. Uh, so you'll have to cite it within your slide, and then at the end you'll have to include a reference uh, slide with all of the references that you used. Um, and uh, remember, this too is about abnormal psychology and less about the film itself. So you don't need to critique the film. Um, you don't even need to write much about the plot, just enough to give us an idea about what it is. So um, very briefly summarize the movie plot and whatever themes there are, just to set it up. But remember, you're going to be mostly talking about uh, the diagnosis and criteria and things that you've noticed um, about the film um, that relate to abnormal psychology. So that's what I want you to think about as you're doing this project. Um, you also need to have um, the textbooks and other scholarly sources. Um, you can use the uh, Tech College library databases to find scholarly articles. You can also use Google Scholar, that's okay too, but make sure they're scholarly articles. And I did post on um, let's see, where is it? Oh, in the uh, discussion uh, about course questions, there is um, uh, a film or a, a video about finding scholarly articles. Okay, so I want you to get used to using scholarly articles uh, as your sources. Um, and of course, the textbook too is a great source. Um, and if you need writing assistance with research writing, APA style, whatever, let me know. Otherwise, the CAS, Center for Academic Success, is there in room uh, 1122 uh, to help you with, with anything writing related. Okay, so good. And um, if you have any questions about that film analysis assignment, let me know. I'll be glad to help you. Uh, give me, send me an email. Um, put something in the, uh, the discussion board, course questions, no problem. Um, and uh, although all the, the requirements are laid out there for you, uh, no problem. Um, don't forget there are two quizzes this week. Um, oh wait, there's only one, isn't there? Sorry about that. There's only one quiz this week. Next week there's two quizzes. 
Uh, but for this week, there's only one quiz because we only have one um, chapter that you're working on. So let me know if you have any questions, and have a great week. Bye-bye.